So this is what happens when you're a little bit too DIY and my alarm actually went off in the middle of recording. Um, but I missed a day. So, um, so you're no longer getting the daily updates, I guess. But um, Sunday and Monday um, have been kind of slower days. Greg got food poisoning and was taking Sunday to heal. And when I recorded my last daily update, I was waiting at the bus um, to go meet Adelina for brunch. So this one's pretty cool is that uh, a couple of months ago, um, Adelina works for like a sustainable fashion brand and actually reached out to do a partnership together. So we've actually never, um, we've actually never met in person. And I guess what's pretty cool is that we did the partnership, which, you know, uh, was managed through my rep and most of the communication happened that way. Um, but she still reached out knowing that I now live in LA, um, wanting to meet up. And not only did we grab brunch together, she also invited me to an event that's happening here in LA called Vegan Fashion Week. Um, and it was a partnership with Ukraine Fashion Week and supporting Ukrainian designers um, and the situation that's happening over there. So uh, one of the things that I was reflecting on before the recording stopped because my alarm went off <laughs> and then I had to start all over again is kind of like what my life looked like in San Francisco and one of the things that I appreciate about being in LA. So in San Francisco, not only was I working on diversity and the Awesome Foundation Disability Chapter, which I'm still working on now, I was also um, I was also on the San Francisco Marriage Disability Council. I also attended meetings of the of CADA, the Community Alliance for Disability Advocates. I was also on the steering committee for the San Francisco Tech. Uh, what is it? Oh, the, the San Francisco Tech Council, which is which brought together public and private stakeholders to bridge the digital divide for um, San Franciscan older adults and people with disabilities. And then I was on the advisory council um, or the advisory board of the San Francisco Disability Business Alliance, SFDBA. And I was also on the planning leadership committee for the San Francisco Disability Community and Cultural Center. All of that to say, it was a lot of disability stuff. And I will say having moved to Los Angeles, one of the things that I do miss is, is just being really entrenched in the disability community. Though, I think what I appreciate about living here in Los Angeles now is that like, I'm still working on diversity and the Awesome Foundation disability chapter, again, both of which are remote, but I feel like my life is more balanced now. Maybe, I don't know if that's the right word, but like last week, and I have my calendar open, I have my calendar open to like remind me what I did that day, but like, Last week I went to like a happy hour for female founders. Um, and then, uh, and then like was at TikTok headquarters, which was cool. And over the weekend went to like a birthday party and a, and a dinner night. And then yesterday could go to like vegan fashion week. And I even got to sit in the front row with Adelina. Um, and, uh, and I'll probably make like a TikTok or a short about the fashion show, but, um, but yeah, it's just like, it feels more fun. Um, and I really loved, I really loved everything that I was doing in San Francisco, but it just, it just felt very narrow and it felt like maybe there wasn't like enough space to breathe into exploring these other aspects of my identity as well. So that's just something I'm thinking I'm thinking about. Um, so I'm recording this in the morning. It's October 11th. Oh, it's actually my 11 month anniversary with Greg. Um, and he ran out the door before I got out of bed. So this is kind of just like what life looks like with two entrepreneurs. But um, thank you to my calendar for reminding me. Um, 
but yeah, I just, um, I mean, I'm still working on kind of building out my disability community here um, and getting to better understand like what's going on from a disability perspective, but I'm also making time and space for getting to go to, you know, TikTok headquarters and birthday parties and dinner parties and vegan fashion week. Um, and getting to connect with people that I work with on partnerships, that's actually a pretty cool thing too. So that's all I got for you. Um, I still see some people are watching these um, and I will continue making them because I think I just want to document this transition as well. Um, oh yeah, and last night, uh, Keith Harris, who was the drummer for the Black Eyed Peas, was performing at Tiny Broom Studios, like did a set there and, and that was really fun to, um, to really just reflect on how Greg has really built out Tiny Room, but it was like a party slash concert slash live music. Um, and everyone was just having a good time. So, so yeah, it's just been fun to kind of um, be a disability advocate, but then also be like dating a musician and getting plugged into his world and seeing our worlds kind of mesh together. Bye everyone.